Good morning, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever Keyword, believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. No other way except through the blood of Jesus and what he did at the cross for our past, present, and future sins. How do you get to get saved? You come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. There's only one. And put your faith and trust in Christ. You accept him as savior. At that moment, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you can't lose your salvation. Once saved, always saved is the gospel, folks. Can't lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's the simple gospel. Now... There's consequences if you don't accept Christ as Savior and accept the gift of grace. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened to me this morning and how I missed it. I don't know. I, I totally missed it until this morning. I feed birds. The birds of blue jays come on my balcony and I feed them. They like uh, shelled peanuts. So I, you know, I feed them. The... I've been feeding these birds now for several weeks. All of a sudden, I don't know whether you guys out there are bird people, but you will know what I'm talking about. The Blue Jays are innocent. They're fine. The starlings, if you don't know what a starling is, a starling is a little, a little bit bigger than a sparrow, black bird with a yellow beak and with yellow stripes on his wings and his belly. They're bullies. So what they do... They come along and take the Blue Jays' food. I had a flock of them on my balcony. They just took their food. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking. And it didn't hit me until this morning. What they did was prophetic. And God allowed me to see this. Folks, this nation is headed for a drought uh, not a drought, but a very, very severe food shortage. The tribulation is on its way as we speak. And I say that so you guys can get saved, those who aren't saved, those who are, who are new to this channel. God will protect his people. He always have, even in the Old Testament. You can go all the way back to the book of uh, Genesis for that. God will protect his people from calamity. Even in the Old Testament, David said in the book of Psalm, I'm young, now I'm old, and I've never seen the forsaken begging for bread. God will protect his people, those who belong to him. If you look at the book of John, John in the book of John, I think it's John 17, Jesus didn't pray for the world. He prayed for those who were his. If you don't belong to Christ, if you haven't accepted Christ as Savior, you're going to be subject to everything that Satan is going to throw at you, including what's coming on this earth right now. It is coming and it's coming quickly. If we're this close to the Great Tribulation, how much closer is the church to the rapture? The rapture is coming. The rapture, just like this invasion with Russia and Ukraine, is imminent. It's imminent. It's going to happen. Let me give you this article. <clears throat> Actually, um,
Now the U.S. and this this administration is just. is insane just and that's putting it light mildly they're discharging thousands of marines because they refuse to get the new york the you know what but yet we got a war that's about to start so the u.s and this came on um this came out yesterday on rt threatens belarus with military move I really don't know what's going through the mind of this administration, but evil, pure evil. And like I said, he is set, he he has been put in place to usher in the great tribulation. That's what he's been put in place for. Like I said the other day, I think a lot of Christians are nervous about the rapture because they're seeing all this stuff take place and we're seeing it, but we're not going to be a part of it. We're seeing a precursor to what is coming. The rapture is imminent, folks, very imminent. And when I had that prophetic thing out there with those birds, I said, it's coming. It is coming. And it's going to be awful. The rapture is extremely close. Because if we're this close to the Great Tribulation, the rapture is closer. Now, Belarus will face a swift and decisive response from Washington. If it allows Moscow to use its territory to invade Ukraine, the U.S. State Department threatened on Tuesday amid growing fears that a Russian military incursion is imminent. Oh, and by the way, the letter that they were waiting for, um, Biden basically gave uh, Putin the finger in that letter. So, yeah, this is going to go on. Speaking to the press, State Department spokesman Ned Price called Russia surging of troops into Belarus a cause for deep concern. Moscow and Minsk are currently preparing for the Union Resolve 2022 joint exercises, joint exercises to begin on February 10th. As a result, troops from Russia, from around Russia, are currently uh, redeploying westward, with many now near Ukraine border. Washington believes the exercises could be a pretense for an invasion. It goes on to say, we've also made clear, excuse me, to Belarus that if it allows its territory to be used for an attack on Ukraine, it would face a swift and decisive response from the United States and our allies and partners, Price said. If an invasion were to proceed from Belarus, if Russia troops were to permanently station on their territory, NATO could well have to reassess our own force posture in the countries that border Belarus. The State Department spokesman also called the decision by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko to allow a large number of troops onto his territory as an affront to Belarus sovereignty. In response, a senior Belarusian official said that he found the suggestion of a U.S. response humorous. (laughs) There has never been any threat from the territory of Belarus and Russia. Deputy Chairman uh, of the Belarusian Parliament's Committee on International Affairs said Wednesday. He said the Belarusian president has said more than once that we can come We can come with tractors and combine our uh, harvesters and sow wheat to Ukraine's fields so they can have a good harvest. No more than that. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. So all of these sanctions uh, packages are imposed just for the fact that we exist. For the fact that Belarus and Russia are on the world map, he said. 
In recent months, Western news publications and leaders have accused Russia of placing 100,000 or more troops on the Ukrainian border. And of course, everybody's refusing to admit what's really going on. So, um, something is coming. You can believe that. Something is coming. Plus, we have, what, 85,000 plus troops on standby, U.S. troops on standby right now? Yeah, this is coming. You need to get prepared to meet the Lord. And this is why I come here every day. Because in order to be rapture ready, you have to be born again. And in order for that to happen, you have to accept Christ as Savior. You have to believe in what he did at the cross. That's the only requirement for salvation. Believe in what he did for your past, present, and future sins at the cross. Salvation is simple. You don't have, you come to him the way you are. You believe in what he did at the cross for your past, present, and future sins. You add anything else to it, you're adding works to it, and you're adding yourself to it. Like I say every day, you can't earn your salvation, and you never will. You don't deserve grace, neither, none of us do. But through the shed blood of Jesus, it is grace. It is grace, and that's enough. That is enough. Um... I'm going to link this article in the description box. You're going to want to look at my blog because I have something that is alarming on my blog. And I, you know what? <laughs> oh, and that's another thing. I think I mentioned something about this yesterday, about the Supreme Court justice is uh, retiring. So they might put Kamala in the uh, Supreme Court just to get rid of her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll do that just to get rid of her. Sure they will. So, with all this happening, it's just mind-bottling of what's about to take place any time now. I'm going to, um, I couldn't come on last night because I was just tired. I am going to link this article in the description box. I am going to be back with the next video. Um... I'm still keeping track with this uh, with this Russia thing because right now the ball's in Russia's court as to what they're going to do. Um, the letter was sent to Russia, and I'm sure they were not happy. So um, we're going to see what happens here. Personally, this is exciting because. God is still in control, and God's going to rapture us out of here before everything hits the fan, which is going to do probably shortly. I will be back with the next video. In the meantime, um, have a nice morning. Thank you.